Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. So it should be plain sailing. Well, just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific re Oh, have you had someone like that before? Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. They criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original, or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Xuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please, as fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Farzan! Oops, uh, Madam Farzan! <laughs> oh my! Traveler, Paimon, whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing! Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, uh, Madam Farzan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madam Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Temporary chef, huh? Wow. No rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic leo specialties. So, why are you all in Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, equipped with cutting-edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Over time for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> it's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farazan, uh, Madam Farazan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Huh. That's actually a good point. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farzan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but... Why do I feel like I'm being tricked? So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler! Ha. 
so expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Oh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? <laughs> this isn't Leoli Pavilion or Xinyua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for 30,000 mora. 30,000? But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Paima gets it now! So this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise! Now don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You can do this. And if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it. <laughs>